Nature advertising is changing things from two perspectives. It's changing revenue for publishers, so what I'm CEO of Pink News, for another digital media company, and um, you know, a huge and growing chunk of our revenue now comes from native advertising as opposed to traditional display. The reason why that is is because it performs better for advertisers, click-through rate is higher, um, engagement is higher, people feel more comfortable using it, and in a sense a lot of users develop ban of blindness and they're starting to you know, not click on them to kind of just ignore them. Um, whereas native, because it fits in with the flow of the content they're looking at, it looks more like the content that they traditionally would see on the website, they're wanting to engage a bit more. So it makes sense from an advertiser perspective because they can make more money from sales and it makes more sense from a publisher perspective because it's a real good revenue driver and it's added a significant amount to our bottom line as we've done it. Quite importantly, our display revenue hasn't gone down. So we've been able to keep a maintenance of our display while at the same time adding you know, a quite significant incremental uh, revenue stream when it comes from people like Taboola, Outbrain and other kind of content marketing players as well as pieces that we've sold ourselves. Is there any concern there around readership trust? Um, look, I think some, some readers may feel slightly cheated when they think they're clicking on a link that is an internal link and really they're going external, although most of the good players label something as promoted now. Um, people sometimes are concerned if they end up, say, on Pink News and they end up on a branded Pink News page, which is actually sponsored by, I don't know, Stolly, who did a big uh, content marketing deal with us a couple of months ago. Well, you know, it's labelled and for years, for generations, print media has had advertorial. And you used to look at, if you look at most lifestyle magazines, you'll also find that they often write about um, the, their advertisers. Sometimes it's not even labelling it as an advertorial, but it gets you know, the conversation with the journalist probably only happens because the sales team have sold the big you know, campaign. Um, so I feel that users, as long as as long as they see it disclosed, and we're really keen and always show the disclosure. And when an advertiser comes to us and says, "I don't want to disclose it," we just say, "Not interested," and we'll turn it down. We're not doing that one because we trust our users, and we want our users to trust us, and we respect them. But also, it's actually a legal requirement. There are many people who are playing in this market. Who are not compliant with the law, some of our competitors don't do that. But we're really keen that we, we're whiter than white and that uh, people can trust the content they see, and when it is sponsored, it's clearly not.